this is part of the uh, former Łódź ghetto. We've got the street names there, Tokarzewskiego and Wawelska. And Tokarzewskiego was Knipstrasse, if I remember rightly, when this was part of the, uh, the ghetto. In front of me is the MPO, which is the, uh, I presume it means Mieski Przedsiębiorstwo Oczystalni, which is like the sewage company and the waste, the waste uh, refuge. Uh, Oczystalni, I don't know what, I, I don't know what it guessing here and uh, so uh, that's where you go and sign a contract to have your rubbish removed and uh, if you live the other side of town it's a very long way to come but they won't take your rubbish away unless you sign a contract and um, there's quite a lot actually remaining of the Wood ghetto compared to uh, many others and um, while it's parked in this car park so as you saw my car at the very beginning and I found this, these houses going through here. Now this, it seems a rather uh, unpleasant place for someone to live. But I see the washing is out, and um, you know, this would be sort of slum living. Yeah. And in Poland, this is very unusual. I won't actually stress that. But we have these these houses here, which were clearly would have been all part of the ghetto as it uh, was. And uh, coming through here, I wonder how much of this, although I think that that's actually all post war looking at it from here. But there we have houses, uh, ruins of things again, which um, looking, it's hard to make a judgment of course of this nature, but uh, which has recently seemed to be knocked down, and that seems to have been, judging by the waste, uh, largely uh, post ghetto. Of course, doesn't I mean there's no reason for keeping it here, and that, that has to be understood as sort of characters like me and people like you who want to watch these things. Uh, that hardly justifies uh, leaving in place uh, tens of millions of uh, euros uh, worth of uh, real estate uh, in position.